Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, join membership if you'd like to. It's the join button below this video or the link in the description box. I will definitely post some channel messages after this video, so if you feel like this reading resonates with you, um, definitely join. I post all the extended, all the channel messages there, um, and I really, really appreciate your support to anyone who does decide to join. It means a lot to me. Um, you can also join or donate to the channel, sorry, in any other way, um, just through like Amazon or Super Chat or um, I have a PayPal link in the description box as well if you ever want to support in that way. If not, you know, comment, like, subscribe. And anyways, we're going to get into this reading. Um, okay, so I did do, guys, a members read last night, by the way. Um, we did talk about some different stuff in that in regards to a karmic situation. There is some new stuff coming out about that. I think something's going to be coming out in the news soon. Um... I'll talk about that more, I think, in another video. I just want to keep this one really positive because this is such a nice message, I feel. So, yeah, uh, we'll say that. Anyways, guys, so right now I'm very strongly getting that a masculine, guys, is at his breaking point. Um, he's at his breaking point with being apart from you. Um... This masculine just feels so sad and, like, lost, I feel, without you. Like, he's, um, this is a masculine, guys, who, okay, I'm actually seeing stuff about the past in this reading, about an ending that happened. Um, we can see this up here. So, basically, in the past, guys, um, I'm just seeing that there was a breakup between you guys and... It's likely because someone here, Divine Feminine, wanted something more than this Divine Masculine. They had asked him to maybe move the connection forward in some way, to become more serious or something. And then I'm just seeing that this Masculine, guys, they reacted in maybe a way that this Divine Feminine was not expecting. And I'm just seeing that whoever this Masculine was, guys, they felt trapped in a connection. As in... Maybe not with you at the moment, but they felt like being in a serious relationship meant being trapped. That is what this masculine equated relationships to. This could be based on um, something he learned from like family or the way he grew up. It could have been like his parents or something, he, the way he saw them. He just like felt like being in a connection would mean being trapped, you know, having to follow someone else's rules, also something to do with spending all this money and like he just felt like you know it wasn't worth it for him at the time or something like that he just didn't want to be trapped even though guys i'm seeing that this masculine had very strong feelings for you like very strong he still just was like i don't think i can do another relationship this could have been someone who had relationships prior to this that were not good and he just felt like this would be another one of those um or again he saw this in family members or something or learned it from other people but I'm just saying that this masculine guy, is, he chose to basically walk away. Like when you decided, he almost felt like, you know, you wanting something more could have been seen as like, you know, like too clean or something. Or maybe that's what his friend said. And then he listened to other people. And then so he decided, you know, to end the connection. And I just see he walked away and, you know, tried to move on and was like, you know, cool. Like um, there's other possibilities out there, you know, life will be good. Um, I'm seeing though that like he didn't really want to end things with you if he, they could have kept going you know casually I'm sure they, he would have kept it that way but he was like all right well I guess if if she doesn't want this then I, we're gonna have to end it or you basically walked away too you could have walked away and left this masculine and been like you know what well like I deserve more and then you know if you did that I'm seeing that he really respects you for that now and he was kind of like a little bit in shock I think that you actually did fully walk away from him you didn't expect that maybe um so anyways I'm seeing though guys after he did this at first he was like cool like now I have all these op options again I can like go do what I want but then like almost immediately after I'm getting that he had like this ping like pang of regret like he just had this feeling of like maybe I don't know why I did that like I, w I really liked her like I don't know was there like I don't know and it made him start to think about why he does this and why he did that and there was something he said even that made him think about it and he was just like I don't know if I made the right decision after all 
Um, and again, you guys decided to take a break or something or you fully separated and I just see someone again walked away. They could have moved away. Um, and then, yeah, you guys spent time in separation, but I'm just seeing as you spent time in separation, I feel like you, Divine Feminine, started to try and like move forward with your life and like do more things. Um, like, you know, try to like better yourself, I guess, after all this happened and like just you know, focus on yourself for a bit. Um, meanwhile, I feel like this masculine guy's, his feelings for you just kept growing stronger. I feel he was like assuming that it would just go away, that it wouldn't be an issue. But over time, I feel like it just started building up. And he was like, why am I still feeling like this? And I feel like he could have moved away even because of you or moved away because um, he was trying to like start over or he met someone new and tried to move move on with someone new to just get the idea of you out of his mind like he was doing things as I feel distractions to try and not think about you at the time and I just see that even in those times when he was with other people or he moved away like he still continued to think of you and I feel like it started to frustrate him almost to the point where he was like okay, why am I still thinking of this person? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, why do I, why can't I stop thinking about them? You know, even when I'm like trying to do everything to move forward, like, and then it's like something clicks in this person, guys. And I feel like they realize, you know, maybe this was something more than I thought it was. And that's when things, you know, start rolling in their head. And I feel like um, someone starts going through some sort of awakening process very slowly, but they do. Um, and again, they seem to be in a third party connection as this is happening, going through some sort of awakening. So anyways, that's what I'm seeing there in like the past. And then we'll talk about this fourth card in a second. But um, I'm also seeing though, guys, that something could have happened around November. Very specifically, I had that. Where does it come out here? And then look at we have Halloween, fall. We have fall again. And then we have fall again up here. So I do think something could have happened in fall of last year, around that time, we keep saying something went down around that time. Um, I'm seeing that you could have reached out to this masculine or you guys could have had a last conversation then or this is when you guys ended things. Something around the fall is significant. Um, I do feel like you guys had communication then or something. Again, this is general timing, but this is just what's coming out in this reading, guys. Um, something happened around the fall and I'm getting that if you sent a message or something, remember we talked about another reading, someone not responding to a text message. I am seeing this as like this masculine wanted to reply in a certain way and then he just, I don't know, there's something that you said or did and then he just like, he, I don't know, he didn't reply or he didn't get back to you around this time or he had planned to reach out to you around this time or something. There's something that happened around fall and basically, um, I just see like if you texted him or something, he was at potentially a party or there was other people around like living in the same house or something or there was just like a group of people that were there and they were watching and it was something like he decided, you know, not to answer the message or he decided not to reach out to you because... He had a commitment or a contract with these people like he had a commitment to these people and I feel like this is the type of masculine when he does like commit to something he sticks with it and it also could be financially too you know it says until debt tears apart so I do feel like he could have had like debt build up or something and he just didn't want to contact you at that time he decided like maybe it wasn't a good idea or if you reached out he was like hey maybe I shouldn't answer right now because like I have all this other stuff going on I don't want her to know about it um, but guys, I see this masculine had so much guilt not reaching back out to you or not messaging you at that time for some reason around the fall. He felt like it was self-sabotage. All of this was self-sabotage from the, the beginning with the feeling trapped to then. It's just self-sabotage again and again over and over. And he's just like, why am I doing this to myself? Why do I keep doing this? Like, how did I get myself in this mess? Like, he just frustrated with himself. I see a lot of like anger with himself um and this was a facade this whole thing was a facade he wanted to reach out to you he wanted to connect with you he just didn't he just kept holding back all the time all this time he just kept holding back and the thing is like part of it also has to do with self-worth as well in his self-esteem um 
yeah we'll talk about that in a second but guys look at it's saying that you know in fall when we said something didn't happen or you know your reunion didn't happen when it was supposed to when all the readings were telling us that someone was coming back and then they didn't that's because there was a detour guys that was a detour on your journey but i'm telling you in this reading i've had so many cards i pulled that says destiny this is your destiny you guys were meant to be together this was just a detour that timing was not the right timing that is why it didn't work out at that time but now i'm seeing that something is coming together finally like the time is coming up very soon and i feel like this masculine now has also realized that this is fate and he now realizes, guys, like the extent of your connection. It's like something clicked in him where he realized like, oh my God, I feel like this is my person. Like we are meant to be together or else I wouldn't be feeling this way. This something clicked in this masculine. At some point, guys, he just realized this is my person. Like there is nothing else to it. I just know there was something that switched in him. And do you see this right here? We have surrender as well and release. At some point, this masculine finally surrendered to the idea that you guys are meant to be together. He finally just came to terms with it. He was like, there is no way I can ever forget this person. There is something about them that is so different that I'm so drawn to them for. And he's like, I have to find out if this person feels the same way. Because part of this, guys, is the fact that he doesn't know if you really do feel the same way. Even if you told him in the past that you did... There's something about, like, him having anxiety. Like, he doesn't fully believe it because he thinks nothing this good could ever happen. Because from what he's learned in his lifetime about connections, you know, everything always goes wrong. You know, people are never that that good or, like, people always um, undermine you. Or, like, the type of connections he's had in his lifetime, I feel like I've affected this. Like, either with, again, family or friends or just past relationships. He's really not trusting of people. And he's just like, can someone really be like this? perfect for me like it's like that like he just can't believe that it's it could be real he really still can't like I'm part of this the fact that he hasn't reached out is because he still can't believe that this could even be real he's wondering now as well if this is all in his head like guys I'm telling you he thinks that part of this could be made up he was like I don't know if I, I'm just imagining this or if this is actually real that is how he feels right now um but anyways, um, I'm also seeing that at some point he did take the leap of faith. He did leave these people behind. We talked about this. He left past karmic situation. He got away. I'm seeing someone, I didn't want to talk about this too much in this reading, but I definitely see a transfer of money, a large sum of money into someone's account. Um, something to do with a lawyer. They're about to receive a huge amount of money and they're about to be very free is what I'm getting. Uh, very free to do whatever they like at this point. Um, but anyways, this masculine, <laughs> right now, since we've talked about so much past stuff, um, do you see what it says right there? It says, hey, how have you been? Why do you like me? See, this masculine, guys, he just, like, can't believe that someone like you would like someone like him genuinely the way that you do. Or someone like you couldn't be as nice as you are or as kind and caring as you are. He's like, there has to be a catch or something. That's what he's been thinking this whole time. But then now he's almost like, maybe it is real like maybe we are meant to be together maybe this is maybe they do feel the same way about me like it's starting to click with him that maybe this could be real and see we have hope as well we have anxiety this person's very anxious very stressed right now they're also very frustrated like they're they're angry with their self for all the self-sabotage and all the delays and everything that they have put off in the past like they're angry with their self um, about the fact that they can't just, you know, contact you. They're also angry with the fact that they can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> um, they feel kind of like they're going a little crazy. This person also started having, um, like, visions of you or dreams of you, like, over time, as you guys were separated. It started to be, like, the, the connection between you spiritually became stronger and stronger the longer you guys were apart. It was so weird for this person because they expected it to get less, but it got more. Um, and I'm telling you, they, they started having dreams about you and they were thinking like, why am I obsessing over this person? They started looking at your content all the time, anything you posted. They were trying to find things out about you and they're like, oh my gosh, like, am I crazy? Like they started to feel crazy, but it was just, it's a very divine connection, guys. That's all it is. And like this person just can't believe it. But look it, I'm starting to believe in things I never thought possible before. Their mind is starting to change. That's why I'm telling you, someone has gone through an awakening and they're inspired by you. Um, 
I also keep having something come out about lavender. I don't know why that's so significant. Um, and then of course we have a ring, guys. Um, it's very clear in this message. Someone has picked out a diamond ring for someone or they are about to. Um, I can't really make it more clear that that is the message. Someone has picked out a ring or is about to with the money that they just received. Um, and right up here, guys, do you see where it says um, depth and it says awareness, importance, and value? So this card talks about the fact that this person knows that they didn't treat you like to the extent of your worth in the past. They feel like you deserve so much more than the way that they treated you. And that's why when they come back towards you, they want to prove your value. They want to show you how much they value you. And that's why they're not coming back with just like, oh, hey, like, do you want to hang out? Or how are you doing? I know everyone just hopes this person would just text them already. But this person feels like that's not enough because they want to show you how much they felt for you over all this time. They want to prove to you how much they felt for you over all this time. They don't want to come back with just something small because they feel like that's not enough for them to show you because I feel like this is the type of person that's not good at expressing themselves. So their way of expression is by showing you. And with that, I'm seeing again, something to do with a proposal of some sort at some kind of event, potentially with fireworks. I'm getting something like with this card right here, um, I was getting something about like sparkling lights or something sparkling in the light, like a crystal or a diamond. Um, Something to do with the lights at night, I feel, though, could be significant. And something to do with water or swimming. This is something happening I'm feeling in the summertime. And again, you guys know I hate talking about timing, but if I'm being honest, I'm very strongly getting June, um, not June so much as July, sorry. I'm getting July, like sometime in July. I don't know, something about July is significant. I know I've said Canada Day or July 4th, like some sort of holiday like that with fireworks could potentially be something about potluck. I'm just seeing that there's a reunion coming up. But at the same time, guys, this masculine, he wants to contact you like today, now, the second, <laughs> if he could, which he can't. But again, he doesn't want to do that. So basically, I see him controlling himself he's basically using self-control right now to not contact you um even though he's dying to he wants to know so extremely bad he wants to know is this real is this real he's like please be real i just want this to be real i just want to know so bad and i just see him like the sexual tension is so strong he misses your body he wants to be near you he wants to feel you he wants to touch you like he wants to just like hug you and be there emotionally with you guys his mind is only on you he's finding it hard to do things at work like he's i feel like he's trying to distract himself right now um but like do you see what it says right here i can't lie anymore caving in thinking about you when i'm with other people want to protect and take care of you making a selection that also has to do with um a ring guys uh, we have acceptance, again, something happening in November, and it says, I can't hide my feelings anymore. I can't lie anymore. This masculine is so ready to tell you something, but again, he has a date, I feel, circled on a calendar that he has something planned that he has to wait for, but I would not be surprised if this masculine gives in for some of you and does reach out and send a text. I'm seeing something about a text or a phone call. Um, it's like, see it says take it slow this is him moderating himself because there's a part of him that i was seeing i pulled some tarot cards earlier for this so there's part of him that's like knight of wands energy that just really wants to rush in that just wants to say it to you that wants to know so bad that just like passionately wants to come towards you but then there's this other part of him that's like no 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 okay, you have to like hold back you have to try and be like calm about this we have to be calm we have to come in like with everything prepared, you know, like he's trying to relax himself because I feel like he's just so drawn to you guys. Like it's like spirits pulling you guys together and there's no way to hold back anymore is what it feels like. But I do feel like there's, there's something to do with divine timing and that's why he's waiting. There's something to do with a specific date that's significant or a specific event that's supposed to happen. And so that's why I feel like someone has not reached out yet. Um, and again, this is not about him like wanting to torture you by not reaching out, you know. Um, it's just like 
he wants to make sure he does things in the right way because he doesn't want you to think that he wants just something physical with you. He absolutely, like, he would hate for you to think that. He wants to be absolutely sure that you know how much you mean to him and that he is so extremely serious about the way he feels about you. That is why he's waiting. He wants it to be, like, something amazing when he comes towards you. Um, that is what I'm seeing, and... Yeah, I know it says change of clothes as well. This actually has to do with change of energy, like someone being, um, I'm also seeing like from not contacting you to coming towards you and contacting you. So even though we're still, it's saying take it slow, you know, wait, don't reach out right away. I'm still seeing this as coming, guys. There is no way that this, I, I'm, I don't know. Like, I know I hate talking about timing. I keep saying this, but like, there's just no way this masculine is going to hold back for much longer, guys. Like, I just can't see it with the current energy he's in. Like, he needs to speak to a Divine Feminine. He has to come forward. Um, and so that's why I feel like some event could be very soon. I'm not sure. Um, something to do with food. Uh, someone also could be a chef or wants to cook you something. Um, very specific. Um... Also something about, you know, again, being bold, taking bold action. I was hearing something again about purple hair, but I don't know. This could also be a karmic, again, don't know. Um, I'm also getting messages, guys, that this masculine, I started getting this lately, so I know this hasn't been the whole time, but this masculine has started to pray to God, is what I'm getting, or pray to some sort of higher power. They're starting, they're doing like um, something spiritual or religious, like, they're, they're praying to someone, is what I'm seeing, they're praying that this works out, they're praying, they're like, please, please let this be real, don't let this be a lie, because, like, I feel like this masculine just feels like, he's like, there is no way that this can't be real, because I feel like, he feels like, you know, like, this is, this, I don't know, there's a reason that he's been feeling this way, there's a reason he's been having dreams, there's a reason that, you know, all along, you guys have, like, I don't know, maybe kept in contact in some way or like, I don't know, or just like always had this feeling towards each other. Like, he's just like, there's something weird about this or some, not weird, but like deeper than a normal connection. This connection is not a normal connection. This is something far deeper than anything that either of you, I feel, have ever felt before in your lives. And that is why he's like, there is no way this cannot be real because like, I've never felt this way before. And so... I'm just seeing also the fact that he is, you know, self-sabotage in the past. In the past. Um, he's like, you know, it has to be real because I don't, I can't regret for the rest of my life that, you know, um, that I push this person away. Like, they, I have to make it right with this person. He, he just feels so angry with himself for all the times that he sabotaged and he r ruined it. But the thing is, guys, I feel like all the times that he did that was, like, for a reason. Like, everything happens for a reason, right? And I feel like divine timing was meant to happen when it was meant to happen. And this masculine was meant to learn lessons along the way and, you know, become a better person because of it. And probably you were too. That is the whole point of the twin flame connection is to, you know, separate, learn your lessons separately. And then when you're ready, you're able to come back together. And that's why you know you're both healed when you come back together as well. Because, you know, you've learned the lesson and you're allowed to come back. Spirit lets you come back together. And if you haven't learned the lesson, then you're just going to repeat it again, and you guys are going to separate again. So these people have gone through a lot, and, you know, they've deserved, I feel like they deserve this connection. So that's just what I see. Something is coming very close together. Something's coming together very soon. Um, again, something to do with water, some sort of party. It could even be raining the day you guys come back together as well. I keep getting something about rain or thunder. Um, something about sunflowers is significant too. That keeps coming out. Someone could bring you sunflowers. But also, guys, you both are manifesting this right now. Like, you both have been manifesting this for a long time. You have expected this to happen. You've kept faith in this. Um, you know, you've really just known that this was going to be your future, I feel. You know that you guys are going to come together. Um, that's how you know this is your message, you know. I don't know. Some of the comments I get, you know, people watching my videos and they're just like angry, like ranting in the comments. I'm sorry to point people out, <laughs> but I'm like, you're not healed if you're doing that in the comments. I'm sorry to say, but like, you have to work on yourself first and learn to, you know, like, 
as much as it sucks to say, like, forgive another person or, you know, like, let things go, even if it does it, something hurt you, like, the best way to move forward is to just put that energy back into yourself, you know, like, to just use it for something good. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but yeah, basically, it's just, you know, transmuting the negative into a positive, basically, so... These people will not be the people ranting angry things in the comments. These will be the people, <laughs> you know, commenting nice things, um, lifting other people up, you know? These are the type of people that these people are because I feel like both these people are very spiritual. I do feel like one person's more spiritual than the other, the Divine Feminine, which is pretty normal, I feel. Um, the Divine Feminine caused the awakening, the Divine Masculine, but I feel like they're both kind of like coming to their spirituality more and they will probably become more strong as they come together. But I feel like this masculine has definitely learned a lot and probably been inspired by Divine Feminine, like by um, her spirituality in some way or like been inspired by you, like I don't know, by things, certain things you do or say and they're learning from you and they're very fascinated by you as well. Like again, they're watching something of yours if you have anything posted. Um, that's what I'm seeing. But yeah, guys, um, I don't know. This is pretty much the message for today. Uh, I'm also getting something randomly about lioness or lions, lion-hearted. Um, obviously, confidence is a big thing too. Fire scratch, don't do that, okay? Um, also, something about travel. Again, um, someone will be traveling towards you. I know I say that all the time, but that will be happening when divine timing happens. When this person comes towards you, I'm seeing they travel a far distance towards you by car or by plane. Um, yeah, we have a car here as well, so... That is what I'm seeing, guys. Um, I have a lot of channel messages as well about this reading. If you want specifics on, you know, like places and like certain things to clarify if this is your message. Um, so if you feel this resonates with you, definitely join members. We're going to go over all of the channel messages there. There's quite a few. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I didn't ramble on too long. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Donate to the channel if you'd ever like to, which is the PayPal link, the description box of the Amazon wishlist. I really do appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, also, I think I said join members. Sorry, I'm already forgetting. And um, also join the contest as well if you want to win the Oracle deck. Again, it's when we hit 10,000 subscribers that I will announce the winner. Um, the information for that will be in the description box. So anyways, thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.